Let's make a start. Come to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes. And bring your attention to your breathing. Start to lengthen up through both sides of the waist and up through the crown of the head. And let's start to actively lengthen out the breathing now. Take a long breath in and long breath out. As you inhale, start to press out through the sides of the rib cage and breathe into the upper back. And as you exhale, draw that belly button back in towards the spine. You can hold it there lightly as you take your next in breath. Breathe into the sides of the rib cage and into the upper back. And as you exhale, draw the belly button back in. And again, deep breath in, breathing into the sides of the rib cage and into the upper back. And then exhaling, draw the belly button back in. And you can start to lift the pelvic floor up at the same time if this feels okay. And then hold it there lightly as you take your next breath in. Breathe into the sides of the rib cage, upper back. Exhaling, draw the belly button back in. Light contraction of the pelvic floor up towards the heart. And then hold it lightly there as you take your next breath in. Sides of the rib cage, upper back. And as you exhale, draw the belly button back in, lift the pelvic floor up towards the heart. And again, just keep going, just in your own breath cycle. You wanna to try to feel the rib cage actually move out to the side and the upper back expand. And we're just cultivating here a full yogic breath what is known as ujjayi breathing. You might be able to hear a light rasping sound as you breathe in and out through the nose. Let's let that go. Open the eyes. Come onto the mat, big knees wide, big toes together and walk the hands away from you, spreading the fingers, forehead down towards the mat. Make sure the knees are wide enough so the torso is coming all the way through. Keep going with that full breath we were just working with. Remember as we move throughout today's practice, just take a break whenever you need to and take any modifications that are offered if it suits you. Let's come up onto all fours, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, cat cow. So inhaling to drop the belly down, look up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, curl the spine up and really draw that navel in and tuck the chin in. And again, inhaling, curling the spine down, looking up. And exhaling, curl the spine up, lift the belly button up towards the ceiling. And again, inhaling. And exhale, draw the navel in. One more time, just like this, inhale, curl the spine down, and exhale, lift the belly button up. Now we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna add the right leg, so extend it behind you, leg parallel, and again, inhale, lengthen up through the spine and the leg, and then as you exhale, curl the knee in towards the nose. And again, long inhale, as you extend the leg back, and exhale, curl the knee in towards the nose. If you want to make this stronger, extend the left arm away at the same time as the leg. And then exhale, squeeze the knee in, sweep the arm back. And again, reach the arm and the hand away. And then exhale, squeeze it in. And just keep going. Shift the hips slightly back towards the right. There's a tendency to tilt towards the left here. Keep actively engaging that lower abdomen. Just a few more rounds. And let's just finish off. Place the leg and hand down. Keep the hips over the knees and walk the hands away from you, bringing the chin or the forehead down onto the mat. Rolling the upper arms away from the ears. 
deep breathing. Let's come forward onto the belly. Bring the legs together, feet together, fingers in line with the shoulders, and inhale, coming up into Bhujangasana, baby cobra. Let's lift those hands off, really find the strength in the back. Squeeze the elbows in towards the sides of the waist. Keep the back of the neck long. Inhale to come up a little bit higher. Exhale, release the hands down, tuck the toes under, pressing back into down facing dog. Separate the feet hip distance apart. Tread out through the feet right and left a few times. Do anything that you need to do here. And then settle the heels back down. Spread those fingers. You can set the gaze in between the feet or up towards the belly button. Now let's take an inhale to rise up into the balls of the feet and then exhale, lower the heels back down. And again, inhale, rising up and exhale to lower. And again, inhale, rising and exhale, lower. And once again, as you exhale, draw that belly button back in towards the spine. Let's bring the feet together side by side now. Lift the right leg up into a one-legged dog variation. Flex through the foot toes and hip pointing down towards the mat. Keep pressing evenly through both hands. And let's lower that right leg down and lifting the left leg up. Strongly press out through the sole of the foot. Check in with your breathing. And let's bring that left leg down. Now moving with the breath, let's inhale to lift the right leg up and exhale to lower down. Inhale, lifting the left leg up and exhale to lower. Inhale, lift the right leg up, exhale lower and inhale the left and exhale lower. And let's inhale, lift that right leg up and then shift the weight forward over the hands and step that right foot forward in between the hands. Left knee comes down. Inhale to lift the arms up into this low lunge, Anjani Asana, lifting the eyes up in between the hands. Reaching up through the fingertips. And exhale, bring the hands down. And let's bring that right leg back, coming up on, onto all fours again. And ready to go with the left leg. So extend that left leg back, level with the torso. Inhale, lift the eyes, lift that leg, and exhale, squeeze the knee in towards the nose. And again, inhale, extend that leg back, and exhale, squeeze it in. Now, if you want to make it stronger, reach that right arm away at the same time, inhaling, and exhale, sweep it back. And again, long in breath, reach out, and exhale, squeeze it in. And again, let's keep going. Use the breath to help you here. We're trying to coordinate the breathing and the moving at the same time. Shift the hips slightly back towards the left this time. Just a few more. And let's bring the leg and hand down. Once again, walk the hands away from you. Keep those hips over the knees, chin or forehead down onto the mat. And coming forward onto the belly, bring the feet together, fingers in line with the shoulders. Squeeze those inner thighs together and come up into Bhujangasana. Lift those hands off, squeeze those elbows in. Inhale, come up a little bit higher. Exhale, release it down, tuck the toes under, press the hips back, coming up into Down Facing Dog. And feet together side by side. Let's inhale to lift that left leg up into three-legged dog and then exhale to lower. Inhale, lift the right leg up and exhale to lower. And the left, inhaling and exhale lower. And the right and exhale to lower. Now let's inhale to lift that left leg up, shift the weight over the hands and step that foot in between the hands. Come down to that right knee. Inhale, bring the arms up alongside the ears. Feel that pubic bone towards the belly button. 
And let's exhale, bring the hands down, bring that left leg back, tuck the toes under, coming up into down facing dog for a moment. And let's walk the feet forward up towards the hands. Keep the feet hip distance apart, knees slightly bent and take hold of the elbows. I'm gonna rest the front of the body onto the thighs. You can start to straighten the legs whenever you feel ready or feel free to keep them bent. Let's release the fingertips down in front of the feet, bend the knees, take an inhale to lengthen out halfway, look up, and then exhale, bend the knees even more and draw the belly button in to roll up through the spine. Coming into Tadasana, stepping forward on the mat, big toes together, heels slightly apart, extend out through the fingertips. Let's take an inhale, sweep the arms up, looking up towards the thumbs, and then exhale, fold down into Uttanasana, bringing the hands down towards the feet. Take an inhale, lengthen out halfway, look up, exhale, bend the knees, stepping back into plank. Let's hold it here for a moment, draw that navel in. Take an inhale here. And let's exhale, bring the knees down, bend the elbows and press through the feet, coming into up face dog, inhaling, and then exhale, press back into down facing dog, separate the feet hip distance apart. As we continue through this vinyasa sun salutation section, please feel free to continue using that chaturanga variation. Setting the gaze in between the feet or up towards the navel. Long active breath. Let's come to the balls, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump in between the hands. Take an inhale, lengthen it halfway, exhale, fold. Let's inhale to sweep the arms up, bringing the hands together, and then exhale, arms back down into Tadasana. Once again, inhale, bring the arms up, look up towards the thumbs, exhale, folding forward, draw the navel in. Inhale, lengthen out halfway, look up, exhale, Bend the knees, you can step or jump back into plank. Inhaling here and either full chaturanga or the variation. And let's inhale to come up into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana and exhale back to Ardha Mukha Svanasana, down facing dog. Trying to breathe into the upper back here. Drawing the kneecaps up. And let's come to the balls, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump in between the hands. Inhale, lengthen out halfway, exhale, fold. Sweeping the arms up, inhaling, palms the hands together and exhale, arms back down to Tadasana. Once again, inhale, sweep the arms up, look, look towards the thumbs, exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen out halfway, exhale, hands down, bend the knees, step or jump back. Let's take an inhale. And then exhale to lower down Chaturanga, press through the feet, inhaling up face dog and exhaling down facing dog. Separate the feet hip distance apart. And each time you come back to down facing dog, see if you can find just a little bit more space, spreading those fingers, just noticing what's happening in your own body. And let's come to the balls of the feet, bend the knees, exhaling, stepping or jumping forward. Inhale, lengthen out, exhale, fold. And inhale, sweep the arms up. And then exhale, arms back down by your side. Surya Namaskar B, bend the knees, inhale into Utkatasana, chair. Exhale, folding all the way down, bring the hands down. Inhale, lengthen out, halfway look up, exhale. Bend the knees, step or jump back into plank and exhale down through Chaturanga. Inhale, up face dog, exhaling, down facing dog. Turn the left heel in, step the right foot forward, coming into warrior one on the right hand side. Exhale, straight back down and back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up face dog and exhaling back to down facing dog. Turn the right heel in, step the left foot forward, inhale up into warrior one and then exhaling straight back into plank, down through chaturanga and press through the feet. Inhaling up face dog, exhaling down facing dog. Slow down the breathing. Notice that heat that's being generated through moving through the postures.
and come to the balls of the feet bend the knees step or jump in between the hands inhale lengthen it halfway exhale fold bend the knees and bring the hands together up above the head and then straighten the legs and release the arms down by your side once again bend the knees inhale scoop it up into utkatasana exhale folding the torso down towards the thighs and then straighten the legs inhale lengthen out halfway exhale bend the knees step or jump back keep lowering down through chaturanga inhaling up face dog draw the navel in and exhaling back to down facing dog left heel in step the right foot forward inhale arms up vira one exhale back through plank and chaturanga inhale up face dog exhaling down face dog turn the right heel in and step the left foot forward inhale and then exhale straight back down through plank and chaturanga inhaling up face dog and exhaling back to down facing dog long breaths And let's come to the balls of the feet, bend the knees, step or jump in between the hands, inhale, lengthen out, exhale, fold, bend the knees, inhale into Utkatasana, and exhale, straighten the legs, release the arms back down by your side, last round, inhale, scoop the arms up, and exhale, folding all the way down, inhale, lengthen out halfway, exhale, fold, bend the knees, step or jump back, keep lowering down, Chaturanga, inhale, up face dog, exhaling down face dog turn the left heel in step the right foot forward inhaling up and exhale coming back plank chaturanga inhale up face dog exhaling down face dog turn the right heel in step the left foot forward long inhale all the way up warrior one exhale straight back down through plank chaturanga inhaling up face dog exhaling down face dog Keep actively drawing that belly button back in towards the spine. And let's open the knees wide out on the mat, big toes together, sitting back in child's pose. Slowing down the breath. And let's come back into down facing dog for a moment. Inhale to lift the right leg up into one-legged dog and let's come into half pigeon right knee towards the right wrist and creep that left foot back release the toes come onto the fingertips take an in how to lengthen out through the waist and then exhale walk the hands out bring that right heel in a little bit further towards the groin if this is feeling like it's not working for you it's stronger when you bring that foot further away from the groin you might want to place your forehead on a block or even bring the block underneath the right thigh if you're tilting over towards the right. Let's inhale, bring the arms, walk the hands back up and carefully come over to the right side of the hip. Bring that left leg forward and bring the right heel in towards the right side of the groin. I'm going to take a twist, bring the left hand in front of you, right hand behind you, inhaling and exhale, twisting around, looking over the right shoulder. Keep lengthening up all the way up through the crown of the head. And come back to centre. Let's bring that left hand down onto the left leg or reaching in to take the inside of the foot and extend the right arm over. Keep pressing down through that right hip. Inhale to come back up to centre and then twist the torso so you're facing the left leg and then start to walk the hands out if you can. Take that right hand onto the outside of the left foot and the left hand onto the inside of the left foot. Try to rotate the right rib cage down towards that left leg. Now feel free to stay up as well here. You don't need to come forward. Bend that left knee and then let's bring that right leg underneath. So you want that left ankle near the right knee. Take an inhale to reach the right arm up and then exhale, coming into a twist here. Left hand behind you, looking over the left shoulder. As you inhale, lengthen up through the crown of the head and as you exhale, try to increase the twist. 
And let's release that. Try to bring that left leg a little bit further over, coming into Gomukhasana. And take hold of the right elbow. Now, if this is not possible for you, just come into a simple cross-legged position with the left leg in front. That is also fine. If you'd like to make the uh, take it a little bit deeper, reach that left hand behind and try to take a monkey grip with the right fingers. Keep softening the lower rib cage back in towards the spine. Gently release the arms. Let's bring the hands out in front of you and start to walk the hands away from you. Just relaxing the head down. Soften through the upper back here. Let's come forward onto the knees and step that right leg back and come back into down facing dog. You're ready to go to the other side. We're going to inhale, lift that left leg up, coming into half pigeon on the other side. Left knee towards the left wrist, creep that right foot back, release the toes. Inhale to lengthen up through both sides of the waist. And then exhale, start to walk the hands forward, coming down to the forearms. You can come all the way down if that feels okay. Or if you have a block handy, just rest the, the head on a block. Trying to keep the hips as square as possible here. Often you might want to tilt over to the left hand side here with the left leg in front. So keep drawing over towards that right side. And let's walk the hands back up. Carefully come over onto the left side of the, the uh, leg and bring the right leg forward so the right leg's straight in front of you. Bring that left heel in towards the left side of the groin and come into the twist, left hand behind you, inhale, exhale, looking over the left shoulder. And let's return back to center, taking hold of that right leg or bringing that right el elbow in front of the leg, reaching that left arm over Pressing down that left hip. Keep extending out through the crown of the head here, so don't let the head collapse down. Let's take an inhale to come back up. Twisting around, so the torso is facing that right leg. Take the left hand onto the outside of the right foot and the right hand to the inside of the right foot if you can. Otherwise, you can stay just up on your fingertips as well. Just keep lengthening out through the lower bit back here. Let's walk the hands back up. Bend that right leg. Bring the left leg underneath and cross that right leg over the right ankle near the left knee. Inhale to lift that left arm up and then exhale, coming into the twist. Still actively drawing that belly button back in towards the spine, particularly on the exhale. And let's inhale, come back to center. Keep bringing that right leg all the way over, taking hold of the left elbow this time, resting the left hand onto the upper back. Remember, you can just take a simple cross-legged position with the right leg in front. And now let's reach that right arm behind you and take a monkey grip with the left hand if you can. And gently release the arms. Bring the hands down in front of you. Let's walk the hands out, relaxing the head down. And breathe into the upper back. Just with each exhale, allowing the body to soften a little bit deeper. And let's walk the hands back. Uncross the legs. Give yourself enough room so you can roll down onto your back, extend the legs out, have the feet at least hip distance apart and the feet falling gently away from one another, arms comfortably by your side, palms facing up, closing the eyes. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more time, deep breath in through the nose 
and out through the mouth. And rest here for as long as you need to. Try to stay for at least three to five minutes. Thank you for joining me today and see you next time. Namaste.